Eva, welcome back to the quality evade videos channel. In this video, I'll be playing evade maps that are dead. Yes, you've heard it correctly. Dead evade maps. These are evade maps that either rarely get voted or it's very rare to get. I'll be looking at 5 of these maps throughout this video. Before this video starts, huge thanks to supporters of this channel Fangai and Tristan Oof. Brutalist Void. This map is heavily inspired by GM Infinite Concrete. You may already know this fact from my previous video where I took a look at where Evade's maps originally came from. So anyways, Brutalist Void is one of the rarest maps in Evade. Which is exactly why no one plays this map. These pillars over there sure remind me of so yeah, there's nothing much to this map. On the wiki it says it's three floors, but I, I took a look at the map itself and yeah, it is three floors, I guess. So yeah, this is the first floor, um, and then this is the second one, this is the third floor. But anyways, yeah, you can also get up here if you have a grappling hook or if you are in a VIP server and you can just <laughs> increase your jump. I would say the most entertaining thing about this map is this hole right here. There's nothing much to it, you just jump down and you die. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. I actually thought this was going to be impossible to get. Let's do this. Just disable the next bots. Let's I want to spend as much time as possible on this map because this is one of the rarest maps in Evade. So yeah, this is Tramp. This is the only evade map to just be specialized on parkour. So it's just you have to tramp onto these to just, you know, unless you just want to chill here with the next bot. Every time I've played this map in public service, the only problem I've had is these speed pads were just laggy or they were delayed. So for example, let me check my ping right now. Right now my ping is good. It's 88. But in other servers it's over 200 or just it's big and yeah. This map will Reminds me of this one gif from the Evade Discord server, which is basically just surfing, and they better add it. It would be a really cool update. So let's actually try this map. Okay, so I'm, ju I'm just gonna wait till. Um, oh, no, shit! Let's actually finish this. Let's do this. No cheats, of course, because I could just, you know, up my. Um... Oh, wait, is this where it's open? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Maybe I'm gonna drink cola for this one. No, wait, what? Oh, wait, it's open right there. Okay, I see. Okay, let's do it. No, oh, let's go, let's go. Wow, this is the furthest I've ever been. Okay, let's calm down. Wait, let's get the speed boost off. Um, okay. Uh, what is this? Okay, you know what, one sec. I, I'm just gonna check. One sec, this isn't cheating, you know. Uh, this isn't cheating. I just wanna see the path. Change, let's change the jump height back. Uh, cool. I'm go I'm still gonna drink cola just in case. No. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe I need a... Oh. What? What the hell? Wait, the speed boost is gone. What? It just disappeared in front of me. I think it disappeared everywhere else as well. What the hell? Uh, let's try our own speed pad, but anyway, I, I I will restart this map because, yeah, I never knew that could happen. Let's do this. No, I have a bad news. So, um, the speed pads are just gone, even though, you know, it's a new next part, it's a different round. Uh, yeah, they're just gone. So, you know, there's only one way to beat this map now. Yeah, um, this is very legit gameplay, you know, as you can see, um, yeah, this is what your gameplay is gonna be like if you equip stealth. Uh, what is, how, how are you supposed to, like, do not just one, but two, three? How do you not, you know, not lose speed from each one? And here, it just gets more insane. And you know, I've seen screenshots of people beating this map, and I'm not sure if they did it legit, or they just did the private server strat. And okay, the last one is pretty easy. We saw, okay, let's um, land. We have to like back backwards. Yeah, funny, this part right here, they just, this last part you have to dodge, go, go past, is literally just copied from down here. Four corners, where do I begin with this map? Well, it was removed from Evade with no announcement, right? And I personally have no idea why. This map was added back, but this time it's more rare to get it. 
this map is in this video because everyone likes this map, everyone, you know, was as popular as Desert Bus back then, but the developers forced it to be much rare than before. So basically, no one plays it. You know, this toilet right here, I just noticed, um, I don't know if this toilet was before they removed the map. So comment down below if this toilet was here the whole time. It's reminding me of a certain, let's be real, that whole trend is cringe. Another thing I noticed, which I'm not sure if, if this was here the whole time, part of the wall pops out right here. So yeah, there's nothing much about this map, literally, because this is just, so it's a like a square loop with four corners, you know, which is why this map is called Four Corners. And there's this long hallway, um, corridor, whatever you want to call it. Before this map was removed from a raid, I remember seeing pe people like glitch out of this window and you don't fall to the bottom at all. There's just an invisible, uh, floor. Work facility. This map was initially based off GMC QB2. I say initially because later on the developers remade this map to be much larger and have multiple floors. But let's be honest here, most people don't like this map since it's so small, it's cramped. Well, they have made it much larger, but it's still, you know, cramped and yeah, with next bots chasing you, most people just don't like it. So it's no wonder why no one votes for it. You know, this map can also feel claustrophobic to people since it's just inside only, there's no roofs. Personally, I like this map as some sort of challenge map because this is basically a hard map, you know, it's inside only, it's full of corridors, you can easily, you know, bump into walls. There's even the sign in the map which says you are going to be forced to play a map where you will never reach maximum speed because you are going to be running into a wall every second and you will like it. Catacombs is a map which was a part of the 2022 Halloween event. After the Halloween event had ended, this map is still available to play to this day. When playing the raid, I haven't seen many people picking this map and voting because it's a really dark map and I think I'm seeing a pattern of why people, you know, don't pick, don't vote this map. This is just like walk facility where, you know, it's enclosed, there's lots of walls and you just can't see the next spot. This map does have some fun parts to it, like camping in the corners. This map has floors which open and close. But yeah, this is, this is pretty unique for an evade map. A place where everyone hangs out in this map, or I mean, used to, <laughs> is the center where, oh god, where, there's like a mouth. Where, how low can I get without dying? Okay, yeah, I see. So you can kind of get on the edge and still live, but yeah. I would compare this hole in the center to the one in Brutalist Void, which I showed earlier. That's pretty much it, there's nothing much to this map. Thanks for watching and thank you for 30,000 subscribers. See you in another video.